Good morning. I just want to run by a few things with you. Um, the 70th week of Donald Trump's presidency is this Pentecost, this Feast of Weeks, which is the 70th Feast of Weeks since Israel became a nation. It falls seven days after the 70th anniversary of Israel becoming a nation, May 14th. Um, remember, Donald Trump was 70 years old, seven months and seven days, his first day in office, seven months to the day from his first day in office was the Great American Eclipse. It passed through seven cities named Salem, which is named after Jerusalem, and he became the first world leader since Israel was destroyed in 70 A.D. to proclaim Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. This eclipse entered the 33rd state, exited the 33rd parallel, and 33 days later was the Revelation 12 sign in the sky. Don't say it didn't matter. But the point of it is, it's already taken place. The Revelation 12 sign in the sky is completed. And at the very end of Revelation, Babylon still exists. This great place, this wealthy place in the world that has exported adulteries around the world. Is that pornography? Is that Hollywood? And the sea merchants are still in the ocean watching her burn, lamenting, because who's going to buy the luxuries that they've, they've traveled across the ocean to bring her? So that does not sound like seven years of complete world horror. But I would ask the people in Syria and Iraq, what have you experienced the last seven years? The people in, many of the people in northern Africa, different parts of the Middle East, what have you experienced the last seven to eight years? In 1683, Islam suffered a great head wound at the Battle of Vienna. It was literally destroyed, many believed. But in the same city of Vienna, the Iran nuclear deal was signed to give Islam $150 billion, release sanctions to allow it to sell oil on the open market. This is Shia Islam, the, the leading uh, sponsor of terrorism, the nation of Iran. So it was revived in the same city that it suffered that head wound. And it, and just uh, another sign of symbolism, I think, was Cairo, the speech in Cairo where Obama um, began the Arab Spring. At the same time, the, the, the anniversary of the beginning of the Six-Day War where Israel took Jerusalem. Why did he choose that day? Why did he choose that time frame? Why did they choose Vienna? So, I just believe, just as the Democratic National uh, Convention was chosen to be at the Denver Stadium where that giant white horse could be prominently displayed, um, going to take the world in a different direction, the first rider, the first horse bent on conquest, um, I believe 2 billion people existing on less than $2 a day is clearly world hunger existing. I believe that one-fourth of the earth, 24.3% last I checked, being Islamic, seeing them given free reign to do whatever they wanted around the world with no one stopping them. Completely unchecked, no red lines, um, protected. No one is protected. These last several years, I believe that's the fourth seal. It's what it says.
It's exactly what it says. One fourth of the earth will be given power to kill by the sword. Not be killed, but to kill. And then the fifth seal is mass martyrdom. When people don't even consider consider these things, I think they're locked in a box is what I think. You're not, you're looking through the lens of past uh, books that have written, been past sermons that have been preached, and you're not looking at things through current events and through a close perspective. So, I think we're waiting on the sixth seal. The question is, with the Revelation 12 sign in the sky already have taken place, being prominently pointed, I can't speak this morning, I just woke up, haven't had my coffee, prominently pointed to by the eclipse. And with Babylon at the very end of Revelation still doing just fine. I wonder out loud again, all these are wonderings and musings, you know, observations, questions, that I like to engage in conversation, okay? Like I see all these Bible teachers all just questioning one another and throwing things out there and not really agreeing on much. You know, I just want to be part of this conversation. You know, um, can Revelation take be simply allegory, uh, telling the same story again and again and again from different angles? Okay, can it wrap up within days? How how how's about seven days instead instead of seven years? What really did it mean when twelve hundred and sixty days from the day Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize? He didn't sit down and sign a piece of paper. Where does it say he should? Sign, sit down at a desk and sign a piece of paper. Uh, it was a peace promise because he had done nothing to earn it. 1,260 days later, he's in the church of the nativity, walking in with a boss who vows to destroy Israel on his wing, the head of the PLO that had bombed the Park Hotel in 2002 and hold up in that church and use the Bibles as toilet paper. He went to Berlin where the Pergamon altar mentioned in, in um, Revelation as the church of, at the throne of Satan. He went there where it had been reconstructed and said, I do not claim that God speaks exclusively through me. His most recent portrait painted by an artist who has painted two black women holding the beheaded heads of white women. Google the artist of Obama's um, portrait and look at his artwork. One of them a red-headed white woman, one a brunette white woman, beheaded. Um... It appears also, the artist makes it appear that he has six fingers on his hands instead of five fingers. So, guys, just throwing this out there sounds crazy. But I just want, more than anything, more than who uh, he is, we've got to know who Jesus is. Because he's our Savior. So read the book of John in the New Testament three times. Listen to Charles Stanley's In Touch Ministry and give your heart fully to Jesus Christ.